And what I'm going to do today basically is um, I'm showing you what is in my makeup bag. Um, so this is it. Um, but before I show you what is in there, I have to mention one thing first. So um, makeup is something I don't put on every day. Um, so therefore, this is not something that I take with me um, on a regular day. Um, I just put this in my bag when I know that I have um, applied makeup in the morning and I want to have the opportunity to um, do some touch-up work or when I know that um, I want to apply some makeup later that day after college when I have to go to work or something like that or meet with friends. Um, therefore, in here I just um, first of all, random things, and um, secondly, it's just basic stuff. So, um, things that um, that you can use to create a makeup look that um, is wearable to any occasion. Like no matter what you're doing, you um, you can never go wrong with that makeup. So, it's not that much of fun stuff in here but um yeah anyways i want to share with you what is in here and um let's get started so the very first thing i could grab was um this brush it's a small stippling brush so oh, that's a little bit weird looking um this is the one that i carry with me in this bag um, here at home when I'm doing my makeup, I'm using this big one for my foundation. So, um, you can see the difference. Um, this is just handy, um, and more easier to put into this bag. Um, yeah, but normally I, I use this big one, actually. Okay, and along with um, my foundation brush goes my foundation, of course. Um, yeah, so, I don't really like, like, when I'm applying makeup, then I have to, um, wear foundation. I don't like to do just my eyes and, um, yeah, leave the foundation, um, off. So, this is my favorite foundation at the moment. This is Clinique Super Moisture Makeup in Beige, no, Fresh Beige. It's a really light color for the pale faces um, okay next thing are um, nail polish remover pads I don't know if you yeah, I guess you can imagine those situations when um, you haven't expected to um, go anywhere after school or college or work or whatever you're going to do and then out of a sudden a friend asks Oh, can we go there and there? Um, and you feel a little uncomfortable because your nails are not like really looking that good. Like you have chapped areas where the nail polish is looking really badly. Um, and I think it's faster to um, to remove the nail polish than um, really applying another coat and have to wait till it's dry. So I always have like these um, already um, with nail polish remover soaked pads with me. These are by Eveline. It's a, it's a drugstore brand here in Germany. I don't think that you can get it outside Germany or outside Europe. Um, yeah, but a lot of drugstores carry those things. Um, Next is something else for my nails. It's um, a nail file. Um, it's just a thing that I hate when um, when I've cracked um, the nails somewhere and I feel this kind of rough edges during the entire day. So I like to carry one with me. I also have one in my purse um, yeah, and one in my makeup bag. Um, my favorite lip balm, 
I have two of these. This one um, is the one that I always have in my makeup bag. And then I have one that um, I have here um, like in my room. And when I'm leaving the house, I throw it in my purse. Um, I don't know why it's not really making that much sense. It would actually be more logical to have one here at home and one in my purse. But um, yeah, maybe I'm going to change that. So my favorite lip balm is by Bobbi Brown. Oh, that's not really nice to see. Um, and it has SPF 15 in it. Really nice. And it gives so smooth lips. I really, really like that. I've also written um, um, a blog post about this one, so um, I will link, or I will put the link um, in the bottom bar. Next, I have a lip gloss. It's um, um, a MAC lip glass in pink lemonade. Um, I just uh, like to have this with me um, because of the fact it's a really fresh color and when I don't have the time to do really like anything else to my face then just maybe apply some mascara and put on um, this lip gloss and it really looks like you um, you have done something to your face like it makes a huge difference in my opinion to have such a fresh color on. Um, this is a lipstick. It's by Esprit. Again, I don't think that um, this is available outside Germany, but I could be wrong. Um, I should do more research on that, probably. Um, but it's a drugstore brand, again. And this color is called Bohemian Pink. And I really like it. it. It's a super deep red color, but especially um, when you are going out um, in the evening, I really like to wear those colors. Like if you have a neutral makeup on during the day and you want to make it look a little bit more special um, for the evening, um, it's easy to share that with just applying some darker reddish lipstick. Okay, next, oh, next is a nail polish. Um, actually, I don't know why I have this in here. Um, because normally, um, I don't take the nail polish with me that I have on. Um, I don't know, but yeah, the red lips, the red nail polish actually can never really go um, wrong with red so it's it's an intense red but not too bright and not too dark this is by Maybelline Yard in New York rather strong professional and the color is um, Rouge Profond or Deep Red okay next I have a blush and I prefer to use kind of cream blushes, they um, work a little better um, with my dry skin um, than powder blushes. They can look sometimes um, a little cakey, like they can um, make like patchy areas more visible and of course I don't like that. So most of the time I'm really using cream blushes. And this one is by MAC, it's Lady Blush. what it's called um, and basically I think it's a really neutral color it's not too pink not too peachy not too coral um, not too red it's just an overall really nice fitting color no matter what your makeup is looking like um, and then one of my pretty new favorites um, is uh, this shadow stick by Maybelline New York 
um, they are called color definers and the color is fascination white and this is right at the moment my favorite highlighter color um, I pretty much use it all the time um, and I've written um, about these blog posts as well um, I can put the link down below as well um, next I have two eyeliners um, one is a simple boring black color it's um, by Irina K the 24-7 um, glide on eye pencil in zero oh, I should sharpen this um, yeah, but a black um, eyeliner is something that you always can use. And then I have a little bit more of a fun color. This is a purple, it's called Ransom. Um, it's also by Urban K. And this um, was included in the Urban K Book of Shadows Volume 3. And I kind of really like that. Um, and why I have this in my makeup bag is... Um, because of the fact that um, I sometimes like to um, to really like have a fun intense color underneath um, my lower lashes um, because just like when you do not have the time to do something really special then you can just throw on like um, some black eyeliner on top um, on the upper lashes and some mascara and underneath this color and um, it just looks nice okay you should always be careful with um, bright intense colors but um, you can apply them slightly and then they always look great okay what else oh I have a few of these um, how can you call these um, like on one side they have this um, kind of no you can't really see um, flat but wide area and they are pretty thin actually um, on the other side you have this pointed thing going on um, yeah this is in my makeup bag because I don't like to carry all my um, eyeshadow brushes and blending brushes with me um, so I use this to apply my eyeshadow if I don't want to do it with my fingers and this is what I use for um, like applying some eyeshadow underneath or smudging or something like that yeah. and then I have oh, this is a sample of um, Bobbi Brown's what is it called again? Hydrating something. Hydrating eye cream. And I really, really, really like that. Um, I was really, I was a little afraid that I um, would have any weird reaction to it, but I actually don't have. And what I like to do is, um, like sometimes during the day, my patchy areas will show up again. And um, even though if this is really an eye cream, I. Um, I just put this on the areas where my skin needs some extra moisture um, on top of my foundation and it just works fine like my skin is looking really nice and moisturized again so like that and then I have a conceal with me this is also by Bobbi Brown it's on the creamy concealer and porcelain I like to have this with me instead of the MAC select moisture cover because um, this is just um, giving me a little more coverage um, so it's nicer to do some kind of touch up work because the MAC version um, is pretty much what I just use under my eyes but not really for um, for concealing any red spots or so. Um, oh, I actually have 
two eyeshadows in here of a friend of mine which I wanted to try um, which I haven't even done um, and I need to give these ones back to her but okay I will show you anyways these two are by Manhattan they are called the multi effect eyeshadows okay and the first color is light lilac looking like this actually it's a nice color but a really shimmery color too it's purple as you can tell this is what it's looking like like actually really nice I guess and then this is called carbon a really dark brown but also with shimmer and this also looks quite nice actually it's a really nice brown wow I kind of like these and they feel very um how can you say that like really soft when you when you have them on your fingers um really nice and i guess they're very nice to blend as well okay let's get the swatches off um and then i have um an eyeshadow palette in here that's by nyx it's um, of, um one of their Caribbean collection palettes and this is the one I dream of Saint Germain no sorry Saint Martin okay um actually I'm not a big fan of um the NYX big eyeshadow palettes um I like the single eyeshadows and the, the smaller like with with three eyeshadows um what what they contain a little more actually um, so I'm not a big fan of the quality of these but they are still um, nice eyeshadows um, and as you can see these are really neutral colors um, I don't really like the, the, um, the pigmentation of these um, so you need a lot to actually make them show up on on your eyes um yeah but but um like when you just see the colors they are really nice actually so this is what i have in my makeup bag because um when i carry this around with me um it is possible that i drop something or whatever and i don't have to be that afraid um that this is going to break because it wasn't that much money um, at the end so it wouldn't hurt that much um, if something happens to these so again the colors are really nice but um, I think the quality at the end of the smaller palettes or these single eyeshadows by NYX are a little better um, yeah so actually I prefer these but I still like to use these and last but not least it's a little um, sample of Clinique's um, Lash Power Mascara and Black Onyx um, you can really see I'm not such a big fan of these ones um, but the brush actually works quite nice um, but it's definitely not my, my favorite mascara. But the reason why I um, have this in my makeup bag is just because it's such a tiny baby. <laughs> and um, everything that saves room, saves space, in my makeup bag is, is a good thing. So this is why I have this um, in my makeup bag. Okay. So that's it empty right now um so 
Okay, I hope this um, was somehow still a little interesting for you and um, I really would like to see what's in your makeup bag. So, um, yeah, maybe send me a video response. I really would love to see. Um, yeah, so have a nice day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.